Pardue here at the IFPA Gasparri Nutrition Pro in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. And I'm with the pro women's bodybuilding uh, overall winner, Erin Duggan. Um, Erin, you came in looking great. Uh, probably one of, the, one of the best female pros I've saw in a while. Um, had a lot of size, but still kept a feminine physique. Um, um, so you looked great. How did you feel coming into the show? Um, I felt pretty good coming in. I was actually at my leanest and biggest I've been this year to date. Um, over the week, I have been feeling a little sick, so I did carb up a little bit more than I should have. So I was like slightly leaner in the beginning of the week. But overall, I felt pretty good, strong, um, and definitely the biggest I've been yet. So, uh, And a few people see the video that we'll have posted. Uh, you definitely didn't look like you were sick earlier yeah. this week. Uh, you came in looking great. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about uh, maybe when you turned pro and what your training and diet is mostly like during the off season? Okay, I turned pro in WNBF in 2011 at the end of the year, and then I was injured in an accident at the end of 2012 with my knee dislocating. So this is my first full year that I've had, first year with IFPA, ANBF, and um, several other federations. So. Um, and now <laughs> you're going to have to tell me what else you need to know about my training. Um, right yeah, wait, I'm sure uh, a lot of people out there, especially people that are, are either starting out or just want tips from another pro, um, just kind of an overview of what your training and diet looks like uh, in the off season and then going into your prep. Okay. Well, um, in the off season, this past year has been a little different because since I injured my leg, I did um, work out at the gym on crutches. So I used that opportunity to build up my upper body. Um, did no cardio over the winter because I couldn't use my legs. Uh, in January, I gradually introduced cardio, started adding more weights to my legs. I also did switch to my new trainer, um, John Yobst from Lean Physique, and I went with him. We, um, we revamped my metabolism, and we're trying to reset it at a higher level. So where I was eating really low calories, doing a lot of cardio for my first few shows in this season, um, we reset that, and now I'm eating a lot more calories and doing a lot less cardio, more HIT. Um, it's great. Uh, I don't feel burnt out. I feel like I have a lot of energy, and it's really allowed my muscles to grow. Like, I eat bison up until, like, today. I don't – I'm not just, like, on a fish diet. It's um, pretty much anything that I want to eat that's, you know, within the realm of protein, fats, and carbs, definitely. Um, for coming into the show, I do a little bit of a bizarre prep. Um, if anyone's seen me like prepping before the show, I like um, I love cupcakes, and um, so I definitely do eat cupcakes before, during, and after the show, um, as well as like candy and Gatorade and sugar. So it's a little more non-traditional prep, which I wouldn't advise like most people to do that unless they're used to it. But um, but I love cupcakes, so. <laughs> That, like, pumps me up totally. Well, I think that should definitely show a lot of people that uh, to come in lean doesn't mean you have to, to stick to, like, salads and water right. and things like that. You can actually eat, and it uh, can actually benefit you rather than, you know, putting on a lot of weight and things like that. Exactly. Um, after doing so well at this show, I've got to ask if you're going to be doing the Yorton Cup here in a few weeks. Definitely. Definitely I'm doing Yorton. Um, I'm hoping that a lot of women are coming out to do Yorton, too. It was a great turnout today, 16 women split class. It was like amazing. So I'm hoping there was a great turnout there as well. Well, I can say it's, it's definitely nice to see such a good women's bodybuilder uh, on stage. Um, in the last few years, you know, we, we don't have as many competitors at a lot of shows. And I'm hoping people like you can show viewers out there that you can keep a, a feminine physique right. and still compete in bodybuilding that's, and push yourself. That's exactly one of my goals for bodybuilding this year is that I do want to keep female bodybuilding alive. And I do want both women and men and promoters to know that women can be sexy and feminine and still be strong and have muscles and bring in the crowds and have a great turnout and show that we can keep female bodybuilding alive. So it was great. Well, with people like you in the sport, um, there's definitely still a future, I think. Um, and congratulations and good luck at the Yorton. Thank you very much.